anti-Afro Spengali's people listen. I didn't plan to do a follow-up to Gerald's live stream when he went into his perspective, his experience with the whole linen honor situation, because Gerald was going to say what he was going to say. I was going to leave that undisturbed. But, 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 some of the comments following that live stream cannot be left to stand how they are. People have a right to their opinions and their perspectives and their views, but there are some things that absolutely cannot left, be left unsaid. The one thing I wanted to address was this perception that Gerald Rev G was a linen honor lap dog, a linen honor flunky that he set up in linen honors live streams and piled on all of these super chats. And he's mad because Lennon kicked him to the curb after he used him and all. People, I cannot tell you nothing more inaccurate have I heard about this whole situation would be that statement. That is absolutely false. Let me tell you the situation with Rev G and the live streams. He had to be literally like begged, especially with KKC's live stream, honestly, people at a certain point. But with Lennon, we would always ask him to come over. Oh, come on, let's go, let's go. We would ask him to go, because you know what Gerald wanted to do? He would go over to those demon-infused live streams, as we know what they are today, and he would battle people over there, trying to bat down their garbage, their rumors, their lies, whatever they were doing. And we were always telling him, this is an exercise in futility. He was going to do what he was going to do. He spent most of his time there. He eventually realized that there's no point to that because these individuals that were, and I'm not going to say every single alternate place he went other than Lennon and KKC was demon infused. No, I am not saying that. I am not saying that. So don't take it that way. But a good number of them were and still are. He would go there and he would battle there. He would get on the panels. That's where he spent most of his time. He spent relatively little time in Lennon Honor's live stream. And I'm not running Gerald Palmer's bank account, but I don't even think he gave any super chats. I don't believe he did. I think he may have contributed to the medical fund, but I may be incorrect. But there is no way the characterization that Gerald Palmer was a linen honor lap dog and got kicked to the curb. This was about protection of his family. This is what Gerald was looking for. He felt the least linen could do was cooperate with the authorities because it was about Gerald's family. This is what people do when you care about a person and you know they're being set upon. We did what came naturally and we don't have regrets about doing that. But everybody was not in that situation. That could have stayed a completely private matter. It did not have to come out here in the public. The reason it became public is because it became unacceptable to portray an image while we knew this wasn't really what was going on. In addition to, because if it was just the image, we would have just left it. We don't care about that. It became a process by which Gerald was attacked and I was attacked and then we were mischaracterized. That became unacceptable. We were not going to allow ourselves to be besmirched in our character just completely eviscerated behind someone's false image. That was the issue, people. Gerald's family, false image, and the character attacks on us. And so many things that were said about us, total, complete lies, and those things were being said in Lennon's chat, in KKC's chat. That was not going to be allowed to stand as is. And this is why this situation came to be what it is. 
with the money part, I don't know about how you all feel about when you give money to different people in different spaces. I don't ever feel regret about giving someone money. It's not like I gave somebody $45,000 and never saw it again. I gave the funds. I gave the funds. I don't give a crap. At one point, let me tell you what happened. At one point, I had four memberships total between Lennon and KKC because I forgot to cancel membership when I migrated the channel. Did I go and ask for the money back? No, I don't care about that. I don't care about giving somebody money because they are providing a seemingly legitimate service to the community by keeping people informed about the garbage Umar Johnson was up to. What I have never done and I will never do is pay people to lie, which I will not ever even consider doing. Now, people want to complain, well, so-and-so is paying so-and-so. Yes, pay people, but there are people who are paying others to get up on YouTube and attack threaten and harass other people. That is something I don't support. And that's what Nikki Proctor Walden was doing and other people were doing with these cash apps. That was never anything that we were doing. Someone comes, they have a show, they have a product, it's entertaining. There is no sin about paying people what you're paying them for. But to come around and say that we are pissed off at Lennon because we gave him money and he dogged us out. That's total bullshit. It's about values and standards and integrity. More specific to Gerald, because I don't even think Gerald gave Lennon any money. He can maybe clarify that, but that absolutely was not the case. Gerald spent most of his time, he spent more time on over arguing with Dumpsey and arguing at TCTV's page and whoever else's page was out there. Max V and all the, he was over there. He was not spending his time like I was in Lennon's chat. So people, I had to come on and make sure that was clear. Harbor whatever opinion and disposition you choose to harbor, I'm telling you facts. If you have any other questions, feel free to feel them with Gerald. Because if I'm wrong, I'm trust you me, he's gonna let me know but no, it was not any sort of situation where Gerald was laying on the money to Lennon and Lennon dogged him out. No, it's protection of families. It's standing up and doing what you say you're gonna do. And the character attacks on us, the lies told on us that originated and were being supported in Lennon's chat and KKC's chat. That's what we protested. Otherwise, we wouldn't have given a damn. We would have just moved on. In the meantime, people, keep waiting for more to come because you know that's exactly what I'm going to bring you. Buyer, beware.